God has been incredibly faithful to our congregation during the disruption of the COVID-19 pandemic over the past year, and we are ready to move forward. Originally, Parkway services were being held at the Fairfield Public School in the community of Amherstview within Loyalist. We grew in that first year from a team, a church planning team, of 40 to a congregation of over 100. There were smaller disruptions in our meeting place plans that saw us move to a local community center, even to a local legion through that first year. Because of COVID-19, we've been renting a hotel ballroom in the city of Kingston for our services. Needless to say, we've been on the road for a long time and currently we are not meeting in the neighborhood that we originally set out to plant a church in. God has been opening up doors for us to move into a leased location in Loyalist Township within the town of Bath. In 2022, our plan is to move to this location along Highway 33 in the heart of this growing and vibrant community. We will be the first occupants in this lease space. Brand new buildings, really exciting. And this will give us the opportunity to design its interior to suit our ministry goals, which will include a worship space, a nursery, office, and a community room that will host our youth and kids programs, as well as uh, serving the purpose of being an affordable rental space uh, within Bath. We're really excited about where God is taking us. Our current financial uh, intake will be able to support a salary, budget, and lease and rental spaces. We will be committing to lease uh, this space for a five-year term. We're believing in God to help us raise some funds in the next months to complete the interior of the lease facility. This funding will help pay for interior walls, plumbing fixtures, electric carpets, and staging. If you are aware of the present cost of land and buildings in Ontario in 2021, you will realize that purchasing land and building a building during this season would, would have cost exponentially more uh, than us moving into a lease space like we were planning on doing, millions of dollars more. Uh, this is an incredibly uh, affordable, uh, approachable, uh, a, a great next step for our church as far as the life of our ministry of opening up a space that will be for the whole town, for the whole community, that will house services for our church, kids and youth programs uh, within Loyalist. It's a great opportunity and a great opportunity to move into a brand new space as its first occupants uh, without having to raise millions of dollars uh, for a permanent facility. We're not taking these steps lightly, but under the direction of our local board of administration uh, of the Central Canada uh, District of the Wesleyan Church. We're excited about what God's doing. What, what's the next step? I'm letting you know where we're headed uh, in the new year, but please, as you navigate through Christmas, really pray for us. Uh, we have a team of people every Tuesday morning that meet and pray together for needs within our community, needs within the church. Uh, we've been praying that God would uh, open this opportunity up for a more permanent place to meet as a church. COVID has been so disruptive. Uh, if it hadn't have happened, we probably would have continued on in some of the same uh, school rental spaces. As you can tell by watching the news right now, there may not be a school available for quite a while, right? Uh, to use for church. This feels like where God is taking us. It feels like, uh, as we prayerfully have considered this, that God is opening up doors in some really neat ways, by the way. We had a group of uh, prayer warriors sort of go around the Loyalist community and pray. And uh, one of the people on, the, on that, that prayer walk on that sunny afternoon prayed out loud. They said, Lord, would you close the doors <laughs> that need to be closed and open the ones that need to be opened? And we came across this spot in Bath and the door was literally wide open and we had a chance to pray over the space uh, for the first time. So pray for us. Really important that, that God would give us wisdom through the season, that he would continue to open the doors for this. And I want to really encourage you. Obviously, we are doing a little campaign uh, over the next little while to raise some funds. Uh, as I mentioned before, it is exponentially cheaper to go this lease route uh, as far as the initial cost of walls, fixtures, carpets, all these things compared to buying land, building a building. This is a great next step for our church to build a space that's going to be very approachable and usable within our community. 
Uh, if you would like to give to that, and by the way, I don't know how word got out, but people are already giving to it, to the project. They know what's coming. They're excited about it. Uh, go to myparkwaychurch.ca, click on giving. Uh, lots of directions there for you. You can give online. You can give through mail. You can give through e-transfer. Make sure you mention, uh, if you want to give to the project, make sure you mention that it's for Vision 2022. Vision 2022 and uh, pass it on to our church plant project. These are really exciting things. And uh, we're going to give you more info as time goes on, let you know what's coming up, uh, details along the way. But we want to let you know about the project before the end of the year so you can pray and start considering supporting it. And uh, my wife and I, family and I, we're going to be in faith stepping out and, and pledging an amount in our mind that we are giving towards it above and beyond our normal giving and tithing. We see God in that already, which is exciting. I want to also let you know and give you a little bit of a prayerful step into the future, the next two or three years. I want to give you a little review of where we've come from, where we're going, what we feel God is doing in the larger Kingston area. Two and a half years ago, a group of adventurous, faith-filled people set out to plant a church along the Loyalist Parkway. God opened doors for us along the way, supporting churches, uh, including Roblin Wesleyan Church that was our sending church. Thank you, Roblin. Supporting churches and individuals rallied around the mission and raised funds to help us get off the ground. Churches around our nomination, thank you. A bunch of you gave to get this project going. God is faithful. We found a great place to meet in our early days. We saw people come to Christ and get baptized. That small team grew into a church of over 100. God is faithful. During the COVID-19 pandemic, we've continued to gain more members. And financially, God has blessed us through the lockdowns and multiple location changes. We've been able to reach out into the online world through our streaming service on YouTube. We presented conferences online during the worst seasons of our lockdown with special guests like Olympic athlete Cindy Klassen and Christian author Mark Clark. God is faithful. Parkway people rallied together through the pandemic uh, to meet faithfully over Zoom small groups, share and serve meals in Amherstview through Lionhearts. We raised over $5,000 to support early education in Bosnia through World Hope Canada. God is faithful. Though the pandemic rattled the church, the province and the country, God is faithful. As we set out in this next step in the journey, we know that God will be the same. We're moving into a growing community on the west side of Kingston to a location where the side of our church, the very side of our church, listen to this, will be touching the backyards of the new neighborhood that is going up right now. Isn't that exciting? Pretty neat thing to think about. The greater Kingston area is expected to grow to nearly 200,000 people in the next 20 years, with much of this population being on the west side and some centered around the Loyalist Township. We want to see our church established like a lighthouse on the shores of Lake Ontario to be a place where that original vision that God gave a team of 40 people some two years ago here, where that vision can be realized. We want to be a church that is unequivocally devoted to Jesus Christ and his gospel. We want to seek, sink deep into the community and be part of a movement that will reach around Eastern Ontario. God is faithful. That movement is more than just an idea. Right now, local Wesleyan pastors are planning, are planning for a third greater Kingston church on the east side of the city in the next two or three years. We don't have firm dates on this, but we're praying about it already. We're seeking God and believing that there's another plant coming in the next few years. This morning, there are people connected to Parkway Church that are listening in Belleville and some listening almost all the way to Gananoque. There is a huge, that's a huge gap distance of people that are connected to our church. We're really thankful for that. We see God in it, but we also see this unique thing that has happened as being part of God's larger purpose to see a network of church plants cover our, the greater Kingston area and even Eastern Ontario someday. Listen to this. In the next 10 years or so, they are saying that Canada will, will shed, will lose 10,000 churches. That's hard to imagine, isn't it? We could be overwhelmed and discouraged by this, or we could pull our socks up and say, here I am, Lord, send me. 
not on our watch. <laughs> we won't see Christ's church fall or ruin, but instead, when the love of some grows cold, we'll love more deeply. When the faith of some grows meek, we will believe more steadfastly. God is faithful. He owns the cattle on a thousand hills. We got to just step out and believe that he is doing a new and great thing during this time. This disruption has been crazy. If you've been living in Loyalist, you've been driving to Kingston for church. Uh, we, we are moving back to Loyalist. And I know some of you live in Kingston that are now going to be driving back to Loyalist. It's been absolutely disruptive, but I want you to catch something. That word movement that was originally part of our vision, it's a whole lot bigger than just one town. And I, I want you to grab a hold of this vision to see community churches centered into neighborhoods around the greater Kingston area, that he'd raise up a network of these new churches over the next decade that Parkway is part of. A little while ago, uh, I was praying about the future of our church and, and seeking God for it, and I had a little bit of a revelation. The Apostle Paul didn't just go plant churches. He planted church planting schools everywhere he went. I believe, and other Wesleyan churches in the greater area believe this, that not only are we working together to see Parkway Church established in a more permanent way within Loyalist, but we believe that we are training up the future church planners that will go plant the next churches. I'm excited to be part of this movement. God has been in it. We've sensed that even the way things have gone through COVID, that he is up to something way bigger um, th than what we see right now. I want to ask you, dive in with us through this season. See this place get established in Loyalist, that it would be a beacon and lighthouse for generations to come. And it would also be a little bit of a spark that would lead to even larger movements in the days ahead. Vision 2022, join in with us. We're excited about it. And uh, we'll be giving you more details in the future. But pray with us, join with us. God bless you, Parkway.